Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Joshua here for Authentic Intent. We had some difficulties with the connection there at the end of that conversation with that gentleman. We've had three connection interruptions today. The, la the first two lasted for about 90 seconds and then my phone connected back up. But this time it completely ended my feed. So we're coming against something. Something is causing my phone to quit. So we pretty much wrapped up that conversation with him. And he just, uh, he, he spoke to the gentleman that was to my left, somebody was watching. And he explained his whole Eisenhower thing and military industrial complex and how the government is trying to keep us away from the knowledge of aliens and I just tried to encourage him that you know aliens don't exist so I'm having some connection difficulties I'm not surprised though you know once momentum starts with this kind of discussion you know we're gonna have some connection issues so let's switch it up after that conversation, we'll, I'll see if I can edit that first that first hour into this hour, so I don't have uh, multiple things on my YouTube channel, but we're going to go head over this direction, towards the park where people are relaxing and probably don't want to be bothered, and we're going to bother them. Try to see if we can connect with like one or two people. I don't want a herd mentality. Three people is okay. I think I can handle three. <coughs> but I don't I don't want to talk to five people at once and give them too much confidence. And then drop the mic and then walk away, right? So we were here a while back, too. Let me talk to some people. Let me just see. Let's see about talking over here. They need to cut their grass. If your grass was this long and you lived in Edina, you'd probably get fined. Hey, how's it going? Hey, sorry to bother you. I'm just walking around doing a social experiment. I was wondering if you'd like to be a part of it. What exactly is it? Well, I just got this statement here and wondering what you think about it. Um, I don't, I don't know. You don't know? They do exist. You think so? Okay, so yeah. on what evidence have you been shown that they exist? I mean, I haven't specifically seen evidence, but I know. Okay, so you're, that's faith. Yes, I guess. Okay. Can I, can I share something interesting with you? What does that mean? I guess from what I've seen, I guess, I don't know. From what we're told, right, and then shown, how about this guy? Does this look like a picture of a real satellite? <laughs> You're saying it is? Yeah, sure. I mean, this is what they tell us a satellite looks like, and it's being built, so it's on the ground. So this may or may not be a working model. Do you think you and I could put this together? I could. No? <laughs> nope. But, uh, so this is a satellite that they tell us, but it's on the ground, and here's one that they tell us, but it's CGI'd in space. And then when you Google image satellites in space, all of the images that you get are all CGI and in a third-person perspective. Okay. So it kind of begs the question, who's taking a picture of this satellite? <laughs> right? So are they sending another satellite to take a picture of this satellite? Right? Okay. So, I mean, it's just kind of logic. So, have you ever looked at, like, where we live? 
You know, like Earth? Yes. Earth from space? Probably at some point. Probably at some point. So, what about, um, what about this guy? Yeah. Does this look like where we live? Yes. Okay. I mean, that makes sense, because that's what we're told. This picture was taken in 2015. So this is the most recent picture that we're given. And uh, it kind of goes along the lines of, of this. So out of these two pictures, which most resembles North America? The one on the left or the right? So left. Your left, right? That's what I thought too. I had that picture actually on my screensaver on my computer. Okay. And it's CGI. Both of these pictures are official NASA photos and they're both CGI. So if you Google image Earth from space, all you get are CGI images. Did you know that? I did not know that. So like with with that being said, you know like CGI Earth, CGI satellites, back to the initial statement, with everything that we get in regards to satellites is all fake CGI images, could my statement at the top be true then? I guess it could be true. Could be true, right? So, I don't know. Have you... Are, I'm sure that this thought has never crossed your mind, right? And it wouldn't... Why would it? Right? Have you ever, like, investigated um, flat earth or anything? Have you ever heard of that term or concept before? Yes, but I haven't investigated it. Okay. Much. Do you think that is a topic that some people that go off on that tangent are crazy or, like, they just don't want to deal with reality here? I guess I don't know anyone that firmly believes that it's flat. <laughs> okay. Well, I think you kind of did now. Yeah, because I've been doing this pretty aggressively for the last couple of weeks and just trying to show people that everything that we get from NASA is fake and it's all CGI and that water doesn't curve and that there's no way to prove that we live on a spinning wet ball rocket hurtling millions of miles through space. So can I just encourage you to check it out? Like Google Flat Earth and just check out what people are saying about it because it might actually change your consciousness level and it might give you a different experience on earth than just believing that we're just a speck in the universe so what's your name amelia, amelia i'm joshua nice really great to meet you do you like m&ms um yes i do yeah i have m&ms here so yeah thank you you're welcome thanks for talking yeah, have a nice day. yeah you too see ya Amelia. <clears throat> See what these guys are up to over here. Maybe they have tablets out. Maybe I can challenge them with something. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm just kind of walking around the, the park here, kind of doing a social experiment. I was wondering if you wanted to be a part of it just for like five minutes. Is that cool? I have a prize for you. If you participate, so um, what do you think about this statement here? Satellites don't exist. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it, right? Like it. Your subconscious is like ah. Yeah. yeah. What about you? What do you think? Yeah, it just seems like it's, a lie. It's an odd statement, right? Yeah. What about this picture? Does this look like a picture of a real satellite? No. No. What about uh, the back? Yeah. Where is it, though? It's on the ground. It's on the ground. Probably done by Neil deGrasse Tyson and Bill Nye. Yeah, they had too much <laughs> Milwaukee's best, huh? Yes. So, so that's on the ground, and that's a satellite that they tell us is real. This may or may not be a working model, yes. right? But this is a satellite that's in space, and it's CGI. Yes. So this is CGI. Yes. And when you Google image satellites in space right now, which, which one do you think you'll get the most of, this or the other one, this one here? Yeah, because all of the images of satellites in space that we get are third-person CGI images. Yeah. I mean, maybe they have some from some of the space shuttles. 
You would think so. I, I certainly hoped because then I wouldn't have to do this every day. Yeah. Um, but I do because I look and all I get are Our CGI. Ones. CGI. Yeah. Same. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll challenge you with this guy. Um, how about this question? What size is America? Well, it's not. Like what sort of units do you want? Well, it's not. It's not the picture on the right. It's not the are you sure? Yes. Okay. All right. The one on the left? Okay, how about you? Yeah. I think so. I, I actually had the one on the... I'm sorry? I don't know. I don't know if it still is the one on the left. It might be the one on the left, I actually had on my computer screen uh -huh. two years ago. Totally thought it was real. Yeah, and then... Guess it's, what it is. It's, too, it's not. It's not, actually. It's CGI. It's the one on the right, then? They're both CGI, and they're okay. from they're from NASA. Oh, yeah. Nice. yeah, and that's actually the same thing with this one. This is the most recent picture that we have of our blue marble from space in 2015. Uh -huh. Guess what? This is CGI also. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. So if you Google image Earth from space, guess what you get? Same thing. All CGI. Uh -huh. So I don't know. I mean, it kind of begs the question then. Could the statement that I presented at the very beginning be true if all of the images, depictions, or references of what a satellite should look like in space is all CGI? Considering I've worked with people that have sent things into space, okay. I'm not entirely <laughs> convinced sure. about that statement. Okay. Because I have, I mean, there's somebody in, the, in my class that I was just talking to that was using detectors to characterize x-rays from the sun. Yeah. And they had sent these detectors up there and she was playing with them some more. But okay. uh, uh, it, it doesn't convince me. Can I give you like an example of algorithms and math? Okay. 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 So what if I was to create uh, an app for the ISS, yeah. right? And me and like 12 really smart people who work for NASA mm -hmm. created this app for the light in the sky. Uh -huh. And so that's the foundation. It's the algorithm, right? But we're basing it on a light in the sky that may or may not be the ISS scrolling across the sky. And so if you download that app and then you look at it and you tell it your location, the algorithm is going to find where the quote light in the sky or the ISS is and then it's going to give you the approximate time that it will be over your location. Do you think that that could be something that they did? For to us to make us believe that the ISS is above us. Maybe, but can I ask you the question? Sure. Yeah. How do you think GPS works? Uh, ground positioning ground system. Positioning? Yeah, it's always okay. been ground, ground actually. All right, that's fine. The so, the military industrial like complex actually changed it from LAN so in the seventies to GPS. Right, yeah, because that was just something I had. Not necessarily an attack. But I no, I totally get it, man. How, yeah, I was curious how, how that was. Yeah, I get it. All of the communication basically on Earth, 99% of it, from Europe to America, is fiber optics. Yes. And then from those fiber optics, they create ground towers. Those ground towers work wirelessly, whether it be line of sight or pointing antenna. P-O-Y-N-T-I-N-G, pointing. That's 3G and 4G cell phone service. So, with that being said, in addition, NASA's balloon program is significantly larger than their shuttle program. Did you know that? What do you mean balloon program? What like they have a, yeah, like weather balloons that may or may not be carrying hundreds of pounds of communication technology. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 interesting. But there actually might be thousands of those in the sky, and that's not these. One was just most re recently launched on April 25th in New Zealand. It's the size of a football field. Which was one of the balloons? Balloon. balloon. Yeah. Balloon. And it may or may not be carrying communication products on it. That's a big yeah. So, one more thing uh -huh. with the satellites, because I know this statement, yes. I, I know you need some more credibility. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> let me see if I got you here. So picture this tree right here, okay? This tree right here has a beehive on it, okay? Uh -huh. And that beehive, we'll call it Earth, uh -huh. right? <laughs> okay?
okay, with that beehive, if we throw, like, sticks and rocks at the beehive, and it doesn't fall to the ground, but it just hangs up there still, thankfully, what do you think is going to happen to that beehive? If we throw rocks and sticks at it and hit it? A lot of bees, right? So currently, right now, they tell us that there's 2,300 satellites orbiting Earth right now. With a plus or minus of 15 to 20,000 pieces of, like, quote, space junk, right? Because in 2009, there was a collision between two satellites, okay? So when you watch and stream the ISS live, how many satellites do you think you'll see in, like, a one- or two-hour presentation? ISS live... Yeah. <laughs> you would think none. Okay. If you Google image right now, it's up to you. Um, satellites orbiting Earth. And I just gave you that visualization of how many bees would be circling the Earth. That is actually the same illustration that they give us online. That there would be thousands of bees hovering over Earth. So how can it be that... I've watched it for hours and hours. I mean, I know that sounds like a lot of fun to some people, but you get some coffee, <clears throat> get a couple of electronic devices together, and have NASA, you know, ISS live stream on one monitor, and you're farting around on something else, and you just periodically look up to see if you see a satellite during the live stream, and you don't, I mean, and it's all CGI, you kind of start to get a little frustrated. <clears throat> so, can I just challenge you with something? I know this is like... I know that this word is, for some people, a trigger word. Flat Earth. Flat Earth, yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean, I could see it. Yeah. The yeah. There, but yeah. No, I mean, I knew that was right. So, what are, what are some ways that you can prove to me that we live on a spinning white ball rocket hurtling millions of miles through space? Unfortunately, I can't prove it to you. Okay. And, and so we have to use other sources that yeah. we may or may not trust completely. Exactly. Okay. is to try to go up, right? Yeah, go build your own rocket ship and then, and then go out there. Did you know that we're not allowed to do that? We can't actually take us three in a so rocket and go straight up in the air. We would be... Arrested. Yeah, we'd probably be arrested. We wouldn't even actually be able to even get to that point because yeah. we have to communicate. We'd have to communicate with, like, paper, you yeah, know? That's not, that's not that surprising. Yeah. So, what about gravity? What do you think about gravity? Uh -huh. prove it very easily with things like electrodynamics. Okay. Where you can actually have small little spherical charges and you can see that the equations that people have been telling you about kind of work the same way. <clears throat> so if you would connect the two, then you can just say, oh, well, hmm. it would make sense that the Earth is a sphere because gravity tends to behave this way. Okay. But, um, Is mean, there... If, if you don't... If you don't believe that... that Believe? Why do you say believe? Well, I'm, 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 I'm saying, like, if you don't believe that there were, um, you know, if, if satellites went up there, right? If there's not, you know, satellites flying around up there. And that, yeah. You know, we didn't send, uh, you know, that Cassini crashing into Saturn the other day, then... Yeah. Then you don't have any reason necessarily to believe that. But I choose to. Like so you choose to believe CGI over your own physical observations? Because those, those pictures of Cassini going into Saturn are third-person images. So did they send... Oh, yeah, those, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I would... So did we, did we get to see Cassini fly into... Like, as a, no, as a no, first-person no. view, Cassini's flying into the rings of Saturn. No, we didn't. That you, yeah, you have so we have to use our imagination. Yeah. Isn't that faith? Okay. So would you even go as far as to saying this type of science and gravity are kind of faith-based religions? I mean... Because those books bad. are written by men, right? Thousands, hundreds of years ago before you and I ever lived. So is there, is there a physical object that gravity can hold down? What do you mean? Well, I'm just saying, like, is, there, is gravity so strong 
that it can actually hold an object down that we cannot lift. Really heavy, but haven't we created like machinery to lift really heavy things, like yeah. construction? Yeah. For example. Sure. I mean, of course. Okay. You know, you can make something heavy enough. That Is that kind of the same analogy as people who believe in God and they say, and somebody says, "Well, can God create a rock so big that He can't lift it? So can't something be given to gravity that we can't lift it also?" Because we'll find a way. I'm confused by the question. We'll find a way. Well, I'm saying we'll find a way to lift something, right? Like this tree. Yeah. Like that, for us three to lift the tree out of the ground with its roots would be incredibly difficult. But do you think that we've created a machine to, to lift a tree out from its roots? Oh, sure. Okay. Can we lift the Earth's crust? Can we lift the Earth's crust? Like all of it? You know what? Um, I think that might be possible with a thing called harp. H A A R P. Yeah, it's a it's a massive weather modificator. Works on magnetic and microwave technology. I would suggest looking into it because there's a lot of conspiracies in regards to that that would say that a majority of our weather that's on Earth is controlled by the establishment and HARP. To what end? To like creating tsunamis and earthquakes that they claim as, quote, Mother Nature, but they're actually doing it. Uh, well, did you know that Haiti, for example, has one of the biggest oil reserves next to the Middle East? Yeah. So just check out maybe the things that have happened in Haiti the last 10 years or so. It's kind of interesting. Um, but I would just encourage you guys to kind of think outside the box. I know that you're in school and you're kind of in a box right now, so it can be hard to kind of escape. But what you've been taught in school about space and going to planets and Mars in 2033 is a massive deception. So, and I wouldn't be here if I didn't feel very strongly about telling you guys this. Whether you want to believe me or not is my opinion until you yourself investigate and check it out. So, it's all your prize. I'm sure you've been waiting for it ever since I said I have a prize for you. So, do you like M&Ms? Yes. Yeah, right. There you go. You're welcome. Well, I appreciate that you were so kind. Hey, no, I appreciate you listening and have an open mind. Yeah. I know there's a lot of what I said, um, but can I encourage you with another thing, one last thing? I mean, if you want to. Maybe. Okay. Um, I do have uh, a YouTube channel. Oh, okay. So, you know, check it out sometime. I do live stream on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I put the link on there, so if you want to watch me live, or if you, three months from now you want to check it out, because um, I actually, I was on Flat Earth for a while and I stepped away because I didn't think it was that quote that big of a deal. Uh -huh. But uh, I just got back drawn into it and uh, now I'm on fire even more than I was before. So, um, cool. Well, I really appreciate you guys hanging out and talking and listening to what I have to say. So, have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Have good luck on your finals. Thanks. I think I'm almost out of M&M's. No, I got three more. So that's, that's the plan, okay guys? I got three more bags of M&M's. Let's try to get rid of them. <coughs> I'll go over this guy here. He's got the same shirt I have on almost. <coughs> hey guys, how you doing? I'm doing great. You mind if I bug you for a minute or two? kind of doing a social experiment. I do have a prize at the end. So, you just bear with me and kind of is just... It like, is it a competition between us? Uh, do you want it to be? As long as I win. Okay, well, we'll see. Um, we'll see how much and what you win. Um, what about this statement here? Like, what do you mean, what about it? What do you think about it? Well, like, where, what... Uh, where does your subconscious go when you hear somebody say this? She looked at you, like, you so, you what do you think? No, I think they exist. Yeah. Okay, and based on what evidence would you say that satellites exist? Uh, pictures. Pictures, like this? Like that. Okay. <laughs> Is it, <laughs> let me make sense. Have you seen one with your own physical eyes, though? I have not. Actually. Okay, so. I'd like to. I know, right? How about this? You might see one right now. There you go. 
satellite. What does that look like? A satellite. A satellite, right? At least this is what they tell us. Yeah. So this may or may not be a working model that us three worked on together. I mean, it could be. Could but, be. Yeah. But where is it? Probably in the sky. Look a little closer. <laughs> where Where is this satellite at? On the ground. It's on the ground. Yeah. So this may or may not be a working model of what they tell us a satellite looks like, right? Yeah. Okay. And this is a CGI image of a satellite in space. They look very different. They do. Yeah. Did you know that you Google image satellites in space? What do you think you're going to get more of? Satellites on the ground like this or fake CGI images like this? That. Yes. Huh. <laughs> so... If you were to Google image this, Earth from space, this is what you would get. So I got these from the official NASA website, these two pictures. Which one of these two is an accurate depiction of America? Choose wisely here. Your life's dependent on it. Yeah. I think that one. Okay. You, sir? If you choose differently, you guys got to break up, right? You together? No. Okay. Well, then, that's probably a good thing. He's my brother. Okay. Well, that's good. You might get ostracized from the family if you disagree here. Oh, boy. So... Just pick one. Yeah, just pick one. Alright. You're all right. taking too much I'll go, time. I'll go with that one. Okay, so you both pick a CGI image of Earth from space. Do. They're actually both. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. So we really don't know what size America is. Right. Um, because this is actually the most recent picture of Earth from space. It was taken by the Epic camera on July 6th of 2015. So when you compare that to these guys, and all three of those are official NASA photos of Earth from space. What are some conclusions that you think you might come to if you were like Perry Mason? Perry Mason. It's an old detective from a TV show, yeah. Sherlock Holmes, how about that? Uh, yeah. Some of these are not accurate. Yeah. How about all of them are not accurate? Because all of the pictures of Earth from space on NASA's website all have inconsistencies from 1972 up until 2015. They're all CGI. Really? Huh. Yeah. So, so did, would that ever cross your mind? No. 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 It, and it didn't for me, and to be honest, the one that you didn't choose, the one on, on your left there, I had that on my computer screen for like ever, two years ago. And so 18 months ago, I started kind of questioning some things, and I was led to some new information that's really provocative. And I don't at all believe that we live on a spinning wet ball rocket hurtling millions of miles through space. Really? Yeah. What do you believe? Uh, well, coincidentally enough, um, there's that image. That's the UN flag on the right right next to the flat earth map. So you think we live on a flat earth? Yes, sir. Like Kyrie? Yep. Yeah, like Kyrie. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's in the basketball. He'll probably be in the finals this year to go against LeBron James because did you know that Mike, uh, Mike Brown is the Golden State head coach? No? That really? Steve Kerr stepped down? Yeah. Pretty so, yeah, from at least for the playoffs. So Mike Brown, a former coach of the Cavaliers, is now the coach of the Golden State Warriors. I would not be surprised if both of those two teams meet in the finals. Do you think that's a coincidence? I think you and I could get into sports quite a bit, and I think they're all rigged, man. Really? Yes. Did you watch um, Russell Westbrook hand the ball off to Beast Mode on third down and goal to get a touchdown? Did he hand the ball off or throw it? Yeah, uh, uh, Russell Wilson. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> but he's thinking basketball, so. Yeah. Russell Wilson. So the quarterback of the Seahawks, he 
threw the ball or did he hand it off for a touchdown? In the Super Bowl? Yeah, at the very, very end there. The last Super Bowl? Um, two, su two, three Super Bowls ago. Do you remember? I, I don't yeah. Remember. I mean, I guess my point is, is when I was watching that game. No, that's the one. He threw it. He threw it for yeah. an interception. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Do you think that if you and I were playing in that game and our coach said to throw the ball, do you think you're the quarterback and I'm the running back that we would go along with that if we were paid enough money? Or do you think that you and I would hand the ball off because we want to win a championship and score a touchdown? I would think hand off. You and I would, but yeah. they do what they're told. And he was told to pass the ball. Yeah. They get paid a lot of money. They do. They get paid a lot of money to lie, and so does NASA. Yeah. NASA gets paid $52 million a day to give us CGI. What about SpaceX? Fake. And if they actually slow that name down, SpaceX, they mock us with how they word things. SpaceX. Yeah. I mean, take it for what it's worth, it's up to you, yeah. but everything that they give us in regards to going to outer space is a complete and utter fallacy. And they use Hollywood to pro propagate their lie to make us believe that we can go to Mars in 2033. Uh, well, it changes your worldview, right? Yeah. And so let's say we may or may not live on an infinite plane like that. Yeah. And there's unlimited resources, water, land, enough for everybody here on this earth. But they have to shrink it all down to the back of that on one of those blue marbles. So then our, our land, resources, and everything are limited, right? And so the big boogeyman is global warming. And we're the ones that are causing it, right? So that makes us the enemy of the state. You kind of understand where I'm coming from? Because if it wasn't for us, global warming wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. You know? It, yeah, much less. And so, but what if there's an infinite amount of land, resources, and water? Wait, so you, so you don't think that there's an end to the Earth? It's just um, I use that as an illustration to kind of compare the two, how the establishment gives us truth hidden in plain sight. Um, whether there's a ring and that's Antarctica, I don't know because I haven't been there. Yeah. But I do use that as an il illustration because for some people, they can't handle the concept of infinite. What do you think about the International Space Station? Uh, it's a massive fraud. Really? And it's all CGI. And it's done in a vomit comet, most likely. Do you know what a vomit comet is? No. So a vomit comet is something that us three can go on right now. We're as civilians. And we can go into this airplane that goes up to about 40,000 feet and nose dives for about 90 seconds to two minutes, and you experience zero G. Yeah. 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 And so the people who portray themselves as astronauts, okay, N O T, knots, right? Yeah. They are actors, okay? And they are portraying themselves to be doing something that they're really not. And they have harnesses around their waist and possibly magnetic shoes to keep them in place while the plane is making its ascent. And then when you watch them do their live streams, you'll see one of the astronauts look up into the top corner, and that may or may not be a light signaling that we're zero G right now. So then they can do their crazy dumb experiments of having water float in space and stuff. And it's just really all parlor tricks to keep us at a dumbed down frequency level so that we can't understand what's really going on. Yeah. Does that make sense? I mean, I know that was a rant, but... No, what, what I don't get about it is, like, I still don't really get the, the point yeah. of, if, assuming that's true, the point of making us all think that the world is... Yeah, I know, and it might, it's... It, went, it just is new information that didn't cross your mind. And I can try to explain to you how I feel. Yeah. Because if we're given, uh, you know, images of this, of where we live, that took how long? Four billion years to create? Yeah. That propagates evolution, right? right? Which isn't true. So if they use that as a foundation to build dinosaurs, you know, fake fossils, millions of years and stuff... You see how it could, to some people, make us feel insignificant? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, and so if you picture like a snow globe, you know what a snow globe looks like, right? Yeah. Shake it up and it's got the snow and stuff. We may or may not be living in that type of a structure, kind of like the Truman Show, right? Yeah. But that's predictive programming. They, they work with the occult and they have to give us truth through Hollywood so that they can say, okay, we told them, we told them the truth. Yeah, it was an entertainment, you know, they went to go see it. But they're not going to go on TV, CNN, Fox News, and say, we live on a, you know, infinite plane with a possible firmament over us. So, so then is your goal to just spread this to everyone that you can? I'm Facebook Live just about every day. Really? Talk to people regularly about it. Yeah. And I upload it all on YouTube. So we'll be on YouTube? Yes, sir. Yeah. So I wish I had some more actually gave all my things away but yeah if you just like google my name Joshua Swift social experiment on Facebook or on YouTube you'll come right across it and it's up to you if you want to you know look it up and look up some other flatter stuff but I'd really encourage you just to kind of step back for a little bit and just be like you know is everything what I'm being told the truth because the establishment through news and media only give us what they want us to know does that make sense? Nothing that they tell us on, on the news is, is by accident. They might say it is, but it's really not. So, And you're young, so I just encourage you just to kind of have an open mind about that. So, oh, thank you. Yeah, no, I appreciate you listening, and you've probably been waiting for this ever since I told you. But you like M&M's? Yeah. Oh, oh, that sucks. So, all right. I really appreciate you guys listening and just uh, being open-minded. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. <clears throat> All right, got one more bag of M&Ms. Let's talk to this old man about the moon landing, huh? Just kidding. How you doing? Just kidding. One more bag. <clears throat> of M&M's. I think there's a, there's a guy and a girl over there. One girl's hanging out with her dog. So, still in Dinky Town, University of Minnesota. We've been here since 1-ish, 12.30 or so. We're going to try to get one more interaction with somebody here we'll just creep up on them and surprise them with some truth and see how they handle it plan on something I think I might come back here tomorrow not sure but I do have something really fun planned for Saturday I'm gonna go to St. Paul I'm going to go to another college campus. Give you a little hint. I'm going to go talk to that kid uh, behind the tree here. Or maybe this guy sitting on this bench. Yeah, Michael Jordan retired because of gambling debts and came back. I can't remember, I heard some rumors about how they, you know, kind of wanted to tarnish his reputation, punish him or something because he was... But he leaves and he, leave, and he wins three more, right? Didn't he leave and then win three more championships? It's just sham. It's a scam. It's unfortunate that people still desire to watch it, but... Let's see, I think if I talk to him, I can get these two girls to listen. Hey man, how you doing? I'm not doing alright. I was just wondering, I'm scoping out the area and I'm just doing a little social experiment. Do you mind participating? And then, I got a prize for you. Oh, sure. Okay, just like a couple minutes. Yeah. Um, what do you think about this statement at the top? Uh, I feel like it's false. Okay. 
And what are some conclusions that you've come to that would make you feel uncomfortable about this statement? Like, how do you know satellites do exist? Uh, is it, isn't, like, Japan has a satellite that's been here for 15 minutes? Or something like, yeah, 10 minutes, actually, yeah. 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. and yeah. Has one and, mm -hmm. one. and, like, you can look at weather patterns, like, on the ground, and compare it to those pictures, mm -hmm. and it's accurate. Like, oh, is this cloud there? Yeah, I can see it on the picture. Okay. I feel like it's pretty, like, set in stone evidence is very much pointing towards the fact that they do exist. Sure. I mean, and that makes sense. I thought the same way. Um, but uh, w what about this picture, though? Does it look like a picture of a real satellite? I, for the life of me, don't really know. Like, it could. Could be. That's definitely what I would imagine a satellite Right, would yeah. Like. And um, so if you were to look at this guy, yeah. what about that? That also does look like a satellite. Sure. Yeah. But where is it? That's... Uh... It's on the ground, right? Yeah. yeah, so this may or may not have been done by Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson after some Miller Lite. What, the picture? Or the, they yeah, this structure here, yeah. They made that after... The, the two of them, yeah, I just... I made that after some Miller Yeah, Lights. right? Well, they're clearly smarter than us, right? So, oh, yeah. I mean, they could probably have four 12-packs and, you know, easily come up with something like this. Exactly. So this is on the ground, right? Um, and it may or may not be a working model. But this is in space, and it's CGI. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, if you were to Google image satellites in space right now on your phone... I don't think I'd be able to find any. You'd think you'll find more of this or yeah, this? Yeah, Well, and I just think, because... How are you going to get a picture of a satellite? They're moving so fast. I, mean, I know, right? Yeah, it'd be tough. I can imagine you probably could take a picture of one from the International Space Station. Sure. Um, or actually... I know for a fact that they've got this camera that mm -hmm. you can zoom in really far and you can like see crevices on the moon. Yeah, I, like P900. Yeah, I yep. bet you could probably just like, if a satellite flew right by there. Did you know that there's a live stream just about every night of Jupiter and the moon, two hours usually a segment, and I watch that multiple times and I have yet to see a satellite pass by the camera and the moon. Wow. Yeah. It's so like six hours worth. Like you would figure at you least watch one. Every night? I watch it enough Man, because it gives me confidence. I have a time on my hands because it's it's a problem to be lied to, yeah. in my opinion. So I just come out here to inform people that all that they're giving us about satellites yeah. in space is CGI. Okay, so gotcha. just to kind of bring you into reel you in a little bit so you can understand where I'm coming from. What about this statement here What's, or question? What size is yeah, so just, you know, check it out. Use some Sherlock Holmes detective work. You know, I... I want to say it's probably uh, about this big here. Okay, and what if I threw a wrench in the system and I gave you this picture also? So you got three official NASA photos mm -hmm. on their website. Is this a yeah, the top one, the bottom one there, that's from the Epic camera, that's the most recent picture of Earth from space. Yeah, it looks like this one if you had turned it. Yeah, they all look uh, about the same, I would just consider that being like a different camera. Picture. Okay, so they're all CGI. Did you know that? I, I mean, it, yeah. Really? So, from 1972 up until now, all of the pictures of Earth from space not only have inconsistencies with colors, but continent what sizes. About the satellites that are taking pictures every 15 minutes? Okay, can I give you a visualization? Okay, so on this tree right here, we have a beehive. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay, yeah, so let's just use our imagination. I know it's hard to use your imagination in school, but, you know, <laughs> right? Um, so that's Earth. So the beehive is Earth. And if you or I were to throw sticks and rocks at the beehive, what would the bees do? from the beehive. They'd get irritated yeah. and they'd come out and fly around. So the earth is the beehive and the satellites are the bees. Does that make sense? No. That's how many satellites they say are orbiting earth right now. Oh, Over yeah. 2300. Yeah, I mean it's not, yeah, if you want to put it like that, yeah, that makes sense. There's a, because there's a lot of satellites going Yeah. On. Plus there's 15 to 20,000 pieces of space junk mm -hmm. from a satellite collision in 2009. Yeah. 
And so you brought up the ISS. I actually watch it live stream at least an hour or so a day when I go home. Because I really want to be sure when I say this, okay? I really do. I even double check, even though I know that it's not true. When I watch the live stream, I never see a satellite from all six of the official live streams of the ISS in space. I mean, there's a lot of space out there. But a six channels, man? There's a lot. And there's camera, they tell us. I don't see one, though. I don't see one. Uh -huh. and that picture, they're like as big as two buses. I know. They're really the small. The is so huge. And yeah. the atmosphere, and then you get space. But how is it that the Earth is so big, but we're able to see the ISS go by so ISS often? Like, we know exactly where it fucking is. <laughs> so we do. We can literally point our cameras <clears throat> and be like, yeah, <clears throat> there it is. We have these satellites there. Do you see Do you see the ISS, like I, the picture I showed you there earlier? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> You see the ISS like that from the ground? From the ground? No. Oh, you don't? I didn't know. But why can't you see it? It's only 250 miles away, and we can see the moon. I think it's busy. And it's only two... miles is a huge distance. It is. That's yeah. Insane. So we just... Most people tell me that they see a light in the sky. Do you see no. the actual construct of the ISS? No. I mean, the plane is... You can barely see a plane, and it's like... Right. ...far closer, so why would you... I ask people the same question, man. How is it? That doesn't mean it's not there. If that's what you're trying to imply, like. Okay, so. Clearly there. Can I give you like an out of the box scenario that may give you a different alternative thought? Sure. Uh, what if what if I was to create an app for your phone, and we claimed a light in the sky before we created the app? Okay. <clears throat> so whether that be a drone or some kind of a heat, you know balloon or something like that that would move as fast as we want it to, okay? And it's a light in the sky. Magic yep. And then we write a program that has an algorithm sure. that would locate your position on Earth to tell you when the satellite, the ISS, is going to fly by overhead. Sweet. Yeah. Complicated piece of machinery you're talking about here. Well, I, I, I'm just kind of giving you an idea yeah. about what they may or may not have done. Gotcha. So they may or may not have created an app yes. to claim a light in the sky so that when you see that light in the sky, they're telling you that it's the ISS because of the app, and you believe the app. Well, I want to say I believe that uh, the ISS is actually there. Like, yes, okay. You're putting on a hypothetical situation. Yep. I get it. Uh -huh. And it, it is like... <coughs> Isn't like, science full of right. theories, though? You're right. Like, that could be true. Okay. But... <clears throat> You know what else could be true? And like we have a lot more evidence about being true. What's that? The space station actually being there. But you haven't seen it with your own physical eyes but though, man. I don't need to see China with my own physical eyes to know it's there because I speak some Chinese. Sure. And you don't like it just you just don't fabricate that language without it being from somewhere that actually exists. Right, so but the whole concept <clears throat> of like, well, it's not But bad. China is a place that you or I could go given and a so couple thousand the, dollars. So is the space station. But you or I could not go to the space yeah, station. Can. No. Why not? Do you have that kind of money? Well, if it comes down to asking the question, do you have the money, then that means that it's possible if you have the money, right? It may or may not be. I think it is, because you just kind of gave it away. Well, no, Do because... Do that kind of money to go to the space station? So, first of all, yes, it's possible. Second, it just depends on how much money you have. Sure. And you whether or not you're in a right secret now, society, right? You could go to the space station. I don't think there's, like, a secret society. There it's are no like, secret societies anywhere on Earth. I want to say that it's called, like... Yeah, there's a there's like a couple probably pretty low profile societies. Okay. But that has nothing to do with the argument we're having here. We're talking about... Well, it is kind of an argument, because... You wouldn't it's be not, able to go on the on there if you weren't it's not part an of that, though. For, our, for what we're talking about. Okay. We're talking about whether or not the space station exists. I'm okay. Saying yes, it does. So let's go back to the whole China thing being real. Yeah. China okay. Is also China's real. Definitely. People bring give you pictures and everything that aren't CGI. I've met people. I have met okay. From China. It okay. Makes sense. Great. They've been there, right? Yeah. So they've been there and they've seen it. They're talking to me about it. It's like who is getting? Like, sure. Are thousands of these students going to lie about it? Right. Exactly. Okay, so back to the ISS, with that same thought in mind, um, why is it that there are harness issues or green screen issues on the ISS? Just it's indiscrepancies. Like, 
he, he's going through space at such a high speed. But blue and, screen? Like, we have to the technology, yeah, to like build it, put it up there, keep track of it. And the blue screen, my phone. Or the green screen, green screen. I'm sorry. Screen. Green screen. Yeah. Like, my yeah, like <clears throat> why wouldn't they have a green screen on the international? Space? Why do they have to have a green screen on the international space? Because why would they have to lie maybe, about something? Maybe MTV wants to go up there and film a music video. Come no, on, man. That's, that's that's being sarcastic. <laughs> but I want to honestly say, why wouldn't they? They have packed so much stuff on that space station. Why wouldn't they have a? For like, but know, why would? But they only use green screens in Hollywood to make things that are computer look real, right? I don't think that that's the only use. Actually. No. I want to say that it's it's a it's a just a color that you can use to emphasize detail or to create a manufactured detail. Okay. In a computer system, and it would make sense to have that on the International Space Station because it's just one big. Do you know what uh, the Vomit Comet is, for example? <laughs> yeah, you do. It's actually kind of a cool thing. And and you could go on this, just like, again, like, you think we can go to the ISS if you have enough yeah. money. Yes. And if you go to China, you, you have enough money. You can go on this thing called the Vomit oh, Comet, yeah, it and it nose dives and it simulates a zero G. Yeah. Yes, I've heard of that. Yeah, so there's actually a really interesting rumor that the ISS was built on a Vomit Comet. And so that they. Yeah. That wouldn't be that's not, that's not pot. They would never. It would never cross their mind to no, why they, trickery us like why, that. Why would they? Why, <laughs> like they actually built. Yep. The satellite. <clears throat> yes. On a plane that was nose diving. No, they built the set of what they tell us the inside of the ISS looks like, and it just so happens to be the entire interior of a vomit comet. No. No. Are you just no, are you just disagreeing no, with me because your subconscious I'm not couldn't even gonna like give that light a day that actually doesn't make any sense. I, at first it doesn't. No, it, but if you watch the videos When's the last time you saw the ISS live stream recently? I haven't barely watched it at all. Okay. But I have a So you can't really give a solid opinion. <clears throat> okay, so you have faith. Neil deGrasse Tyson being the genius he is, Bill Nye being the Okay. Both of them are actors, I've you know that, right? Cosmos. I've watched uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy. When yeah. I Have you seen his new show? Uh, no. It's Bill actually Nye quite. The world or yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. It's on Netflix. Yeah, I have not seen it. Yeah, check out episode nine, man. I bet it's just a thriller. It really is disturbing, actually. Quite disturbing. I don't. I Did don't you know that Bill Nye's is not actually a scientist, though? You I do know that, right? Know. No, he's a mechanical oh, engineer. What's your, what's your definition of scientist? Uh, well, somebody that d is an actor that portrays himself as a scientist does not make you a scientist. How does that... Because, all right... Those if I walk people, into a guy's no, you, uh, car shop, that doesn't make me a mechanical... If you partake yep. in science, uh -huh. then I would say then that makes you a scientist. So if you add vinegar to baking soda, you're a scientist. You're a scientist. They can they can be used to deceive children into believing true facts. Believing GMOs are good for you and global they, warming is real. Did, well, I'm not gonna say that any of those things are related to. Well, they are because they're on his new show. Well, they yeah. actually he actually encourages what people is your that. Argument? <laughs> yeah. What is your argument? My argument initially no, was to show you that everything that NASA gives us in regards to outer space is you CGI. Think it's fake. Well, I know it's fake because they admit that it's fake, actually, on their website. <clears throat> and so, with that being said, if you were to murder me, God forbid, right? But because of my views, right, you probably want to get me off the street, right? Not really, no. I mean, here's the thing. Uh, well, let me just finish this thought, okay? So, if, if somebody was to murder me and give me to the pig farm and they killed me with an, you know, an ice icicle... But yeah, but the murder weapon can't be found and my body can't be found. What happens to the accused? They can still prove guilty with proper uh, prosecution, witnesses. You could also get footprints. You could get all kinds of evidence or something like that. You could get timetables. Yeah, but I'm, I know you're going to, I know you want to believe that, but a majority of courts... Okay, well, do that. Ask that question. 
if somebody was murdered and they were given I to a pig farm, legal books. Like, most likely this person would be acquitted. You know, you know that, right? Because there's no evidence. No, there is evidence. No, man. There's no body and there's no weapon. This person just disappeared. You can literally... Okay, with how molecular you can get with how you collect evidence nowadays, you could probably find one of those pigs, cut it open, and or just look at its shit and find traces of your DNA and its shit. Maybe. Is that not evidence? Maybe. Like, of course... Or alligators. This comes back to the money thing. You'd need probably a lot of money to pay for a real good investigation. Yeah, maybe. But there is evidence there. Okay. Well, humor the thought, because we're working on theories, because we're at school, and that's what science is. It's just a massive theory. I think it's probably more <clears> like <throat> the facts in the world. If, if there are no real pictures of satellites, Earth, or the ISS well, that's in space... A, that's a, that's, just stop there. Stop there. Why did you say if? There are. Well, I'm just leaving... I'm, I'm leaving it to you to prove me wrong. To? Why don't you talk to someone that... Act, why don't you go to one of these professors... I talk to whoever I can. I'm not going to come up to a professor and just rail ball her. No, not at all. Nope. Not at all. I encourage... I actually don't, unfortunately, have the capabilities of talking to many old people because I look so young. They don't take very much... I know. But where I'm where I'm at... <clears throat> and where I'm at in, in regards to how I just kind of go about my business and communicate my message... Not a lot of professors feel comfortable talking to me. You know? So if they want to come to me and prove me wrong of what I'm trying to say, I invite them to. Do you listen, have, you, do you, have you listened to Joe Rogan podcast? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Oh, I knew yeah. it! He's a shill, man. He's a liar. No. Yeah, I am being serious. He's a liar. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, that's okay, man. You need to. I, I hope I can encourage you to look up yeah. like that type of information. I educate myself here. I really do. But why do you bring up Joe Rogan when before he believed the moon landing was fake and now he believes it's real? Well, because it's this crazy thing. How oh, like you can look into something and mm -hmm. be like, wow. It's real. <clears throat> but you're taking somebody else's word for it in regards to what they tell us is up there. I'm taking NASA's, and they tell us that they give us CGI, man, and they're passing it off as real. They're passing CGI off as real. Yes, they are. I just showed you. So do you believe that Jupiter exists? I believe that it's a unique light in the sky, and the only way that we get detail of what Jupiter really looks like is when NASA gives us CGI. Do you really think we sent a probe called Juno? that arrived there last year on July 4th. Okay, that was all CGI, right, right, man. Right here and to this. Hey, yeah, go ahead, man. What's your name? No, actually, you know what? He's yours. <laughs> hey, I really enjoyed speaking no, to you. No, I, I do too. I'm, I'm What's your name? Christian. Christian. Yeah. What a coincidence. All right, wait, question. That's not the only person here you go, man. up those pictures. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, man. All right. Russia's playing those pictures, pictures too. I'm yeah, but that, real quick. but that doesn't mean that that's true, man. And that's Dude, fine. When Russia and the U.S. are saying the same thing, <laughs> probably pretty true dude thanks christian have yeah, a good one, one. But yeah that's all that's all i kind of want to say so so your thing was russia oh. being part of the establishment and the united states being part of establishment uh -huh. coming together to do the same thing like what does but what does that prove ben um i don't think it proves anything okay but uh i think it's a pretty good hint on um, into what as to the international space station is real okay yeah. have you ever actually watched the live stream of the iss watch the live stream no yep Okay. Have you seen the astronauts or, inside? I mean, yeah, I've seen, I've seen videos of them. Yeah, doing sort of, uh, tricks and... Yeah, studies, parlor tricks science, and stuff. Science experiments in outer space. To yeah. Improve, yeah. Okay, so are you familiar with what a vomit comet is? A vomit comet? Yep. What's that? It's an airplane that simulates zero-g gravity. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so my understanding of what I've seen and just hear and observe that they put the ISS set in a vomit comet, which is an airplane. How long do you think you could simulate that at one time? I don't know, maybe two minutes? And the videos I've seen last for at least five minutes. Sure, yeah. So and there's also harnesses. There's also harnesses. magnetic shoes. Magnetic shoes. Yeah, that Damn. could be used. Damn, yeah, you guys are pulling off everything. Well, I'm not pulling anything out, man. I just, I know a no, liar when I see these, one. You're giving me these examples that are I just pretty far-fetched, dude. Well, they are pretty far-fetched. Yeah. And to tell us that we can travel to Mars in 2033, uh -huh. 
that's pretty far fetched too because we oh, yeah. lost. I'm not, I'm not denying that. That's a you know, huge feat of uh, feat of um, accomplishment. That'd be okay. incredible if we could do that. Sure. You believe the moon landing is real? Um, yeah. On based on what evidence? Um, same, same evidence that uh, I believe the International Space Station is real. So it's you believe that everything that the government why, why tells would, us? Why would, they lie, why would they lie to us? Why would they not lie to us? Why, what are they getting? They have to spend money to do all this stuff. Why, yeah, why, yeah, why, yeah that's a lot of money. Fifty-two million dollars a day. Yeah, they, they would rather spend. Come on, if if they were really trying to, uh, I don't know, gain make you believe all this money, they'd be spending that money on the military and go bomb. Are you people. sure? Are you I'll, sure that the? Not, you sure, sure that? Anything. You sure that they don't want to control right. your mind? Couldn't make you believe that we live on a spinning wet ball rocket hurtling millions of miles through space? To what end? Why would they want to do that? To control your mind. To, to do what? To make you believe that we live on a spinning wet ball rocket and not maybe For, on a flat plane. But to what end? For what reason? Why would they want to do that? You believe in evolution? Yeah. Okay, well there's an example. And But, but if, if, they, if it was a conspiracy, why would they want to make us do that? I'm, I'm pretty happy with my life. I, I know you are, man. Okay with that. Yeah. yeah. And I'm here to wake you up and tell you that we don't live on a ball. Universe is fake. Satellites are fake. The Earth from space is fake. The ISS is fake. And if that's true... And we live on a flat plane. Um, I think I'll just keep continuing my life as it is. I don't think anyone would change. What do you think about 9-11? 9-11? Yeah. Um, happened. It was pretty horrible. Mm -hmm. How old were you when that happened? I think I was in kindergarten. Okay. Years old. Sure. Have you ever investigated 9-11 at all? Yeah. Are you looked into that's, it? that's fake too? Absolutely, 100%. Yep. Wait, that wasn't even in space. That I know. Was on the Earth. That yeah. was in the biggest city, one of the biggest cities of the world. Yeah. Are yep. you fucking kidding me? I am not kidding you. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. Thank you. Have, you. have you ever looked into Building 7? Sir, I am done. Please. Do you know what Building 7 is? I'm done. If you don't even believe 9-11 is real, I am not going to talk to you anymore. Okay, sure. Is that your trigger word, 9-11? I mean, you won't even listen to me in regards to... Uh, I want to play hacky sack, dude. Okay. You know what else is a theory? Yeah. Uh-huh. It is a theory. You're right. There you go. Okay. It's not real. Okay, then what's real? What is the definition of real? This is real right here, man. Talking about real issues and how the establishment is lying to us and controlling our minds into believing fake is real. Now, what, what, is, what is your definition of real, not an example? If gravity is not real, then what's real? Uh, when something weighs more than the air around it and it falls to the ground, you can't just call it something and create a religion out of it, man. And that's what they've done to us. Well, you, said, you just said when something that is in, in the air and falls to the ground. Yeah, so if it weighs more than the air around Why it... Why is it falling on the ground? Because it weighs more than the air around it, man. Why does that matter? Because it matters because they make you believe that water doesn't well, curve. If, 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 why is, is it so that something real... Because when something weighs something more than another thing, yeah. it falls to the ground. Why? Why is that real? Because they're tricking your mind into no, 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 no. yeah. Why, why is when I just well, well you won't let me explain. Another object, which is not even true. It's about the mass. Okay, not yeah. the weight. It is about the mass and the weight. Because why does helium rise? Doesn't helium break the law of gravity all the time? Something to do with density. So it's lighter than air. Okay. Yeah, it is lighter than air. And that's why it rises, right? And that's why your hacky sack falls to the ground because it weighs more than the air. It's not filled with helium. Okay. And why? What is acting upon those weights? You tell me, man. You're in school. Gravity. I just told. I just told Gravity's you. acting on those weights. No, it's not, man. It's so not there must real. Be some force is acting on them. What? What is it then? What propelled? Should I, should I call it? What um, propelled the lunar the module the, huh? from? What propelled the lunar module from the moon back to Earth when they had no fuel? Dude, we're not even talking fuel. about that more. I want to. I want to. But that's with, gravity, man. With gravity in space. I want to go back to baseline here, okay? Gravity why, in space. Why, why does this fall and helium rise? Rise. Yeah, because they're different gases, man. Right, yeah, and but something's yeah. acting upon them, right? They're not. It's not gravity, themselves. man. So then, should we call it the? Gravity's a theory. Lupus? Did you know that gravity's a theory? What do you want to call it then? What do you want to call it? It's call a it something theory. different. Call it whatever the hell you want. But, it's, but it's, why do you have to call it, it something? It doesn't have to have the word gravity. Yeah, it's just it's just life. That's just the universe. But why do you have to call it something? So that we're not so that we can talk about it in other terms. But they call it something so that then they can go theory upon theory upon theory and yeah. tell us that water can curve. Um, and the ocean doesn't curve, cars? man. Do you believe in these cars? The ocean doesn't curve, man. The ocean doesn't curve? Okay, sure, fine. You know, water um, doesn't curve. Okay, sure, but do you believe in these cars? 
What does that have to do with water curving and gravity being real? If they didn't know that um, there's something that brings heavier things down okay. and lighter things up than air. So they were able to understand how to send a rocket into outer space by using the thrust and the fins from a rocket on Earth uh -huh. and using our environment. Yeah. But then they go to the moon, which they've never been before, and they're able to come back with Dude, no you, problems. You bring back up the moon and stuff. Like. Because you believe in the moon, man, and it's such a farce. I, you got to look into it, man. There's so much more evidence to prove that it's a lie than that it really happened. And for you to tell me that they can land on the moon and the moon lander can come back to Earth with no fuel? What is it propelling itself off of if there's no air in space? Not everything's heavier than air. How about that? So, Or lighter than air. I mean, there's uh, other forces that act in action. Okay, so how high do you have to be before our atmosphere isn't affected anymore and space takes into effect? Does that make sense? So um, our atmosphere to space. I don't know. You, that up. you don't know? You could, you okay. Could look that up. Because I asked. I, I, well, even, even if I did know offhand, okay, mm -hmm. I give you some number. You would ask me where did I get that from? I would. Tell you I but would see, you're assuming. Um, yeah, I'm assuming. I mean, come on. You have to assume some things in life, or otherwise you can't really get anywhere. So I have to. I have to, I have to um, assume that this thing is uh, gonna drop, or else I'm gonna be completely wrong. Okay. Yeah. So you assume that, but you don't assume that our government and the world elites would ever topple two they buildings on 9-11. Why they spend billions of dollars every day just to do that? To control they, your mind, man, dude, they, and they, it's they, working. Dude, they, could, they could control me with, um, with all that money. They could yep. control me with another thousand tanks. No, no they, they control you with fear. And why, they control you I, with lies, like 9-11. What am I being afraid of? Uh, going against the establishment? Sounds like. Because if you believe 9 11 oh, was wait, real. Man. I'm not afraid of going against the establishment. You're not? Yeah, I voted for Bernie. Okay, well, then look into Building 7. Building 7? Yep, type in Building yeah. 7. What the hell is this thing? 9 11. It's a building that collapsed. Building 7. Yeah, okay. during 9 11. Gotcha. It was not hit by any planes. It's the first building to ever collapse, which is 47 stories tall, mm -hmm. from office fires. No building has collapsed because of office so fires. So, Building Center, the World Trade Center? Building, building seven. seven is building seven the World Trade Center. It was a World Trade the, Center. The, the yep. Biggest one in New York. It was. Yep. It was. Yeah. Yep. It was why, one of three buildings. Building seven. Why do you have to give it that name? Because that's what it's called. Why do you have to give it that name? Because that's what it's called, man. Why you is, have the two towers, and then you have building seven in is, New York. Why is building seven called building seven? Why isn't it called something else? I don't know what you're trying to do here, but it's not going to work because well, everybody's watching gravity, gravity, you. And you want to call building. But everybody's seven, watching you, wondering why you don't know what building seven is in New York during 9/11. That has why, nothing why to do with calling. Is. It's a theory, man. I don't have to know what All it right. is. Your building seven is a theory. It's actually not. It's videotaped. Oh yeah. Yep. Well, where'd you get that videotape from? Uh, multiple news outlets. Really? Yeah. From wh where? What kind of news outlets? I mean. Uh, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. So I mean, matter. I don't understand yeah, like that, what your point that's is. That's real, right? That's real. That's yeah. Truthful. It's real, that's right? Real. Those news outlets, right? Yeah. 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 They were news. Ones, uh, ones? Fox News, CNBC, and they're not CNN. And they're not lying, right? No, they weren't lying about this because you can't, you, know, you can't lie about it. And you know it. because... You know they're not lying because why? <laughs> you, are you watching <laughs> this guy, guys? Are you watching him? Yeah. All my How boys, old are you, man? I'm 21 years old. 21, okay. And I, I think I'm done with this conversation. Um, thank you for talking to yeah, me. Yeah, you too, man. What's your name? Lee. Lee? Joshua. Joshua? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Check out my information on Facebook. Okay. Joshua Swift. Will do. Social Experiment. Yep. Thank Google you. Building 7, man. Question everything. Twenty one. Huh. Val Kilmer, right? Friend of mine said he looked like uh no, that was him. Not that guy. I was gonna say he looked like Val Kilmer. <clears throat> He's gonna t <clears throat> he's gonna tell you that satellites aren't real. Right. Yeah, they're all CGI by NASA. <clears throat> oh, I told you. I told you at the beginning of this episode that people were aggressive today.
I had to ask. After watching that live stream yesterday, uh, with, uh, Brother Sanchez, and you've been exposed when they had that globe head on, I really wanted to ask some of the kids if they've ever heard of Building 7 in 9-11 and what they think about it. And that's actually the general response from the couple of guys that I asked today. Um, he was a little bit more aggressive about 9-11 and Building 7. But that's what you get when you have somebody who's not open-minded and takes whatever the establishment tells him as truth. So hopefully he wakes up. We're going to start heading back to the car. But I just share that thought. You know, if, if you have never investigated 9-11 and you do not know what Building 7 is, all you have to do is type in WTC Building 7. You know, and let the chips fall where they may, because if you watch that and you still think that passports and turbans can fall from the sky of a burning building and an airplane that just supposedly hit the towers then why are we building all of our buildings from now on from that point on out of passports and turbans you know why why isn't this building built with a passport if that can fall to the ground from a supposed burning plane and building. You know, and just go from there. I mean, just use some critical thinking and some logic. I know it's outside the box of where most people feel comfortable going. Because you're going to get ostracized by your friends and family, I'll tell you that much. Especially if you're 20 or 21 and you think 9-11 happened the way that they tell us. So I just encourage everybody to <coughs> check that out. <laughs> and also, you know, look into to my claims. <coughs> Oof, look at this. Gotta get some water. Look into my claims too. I know it's hard to understand why I'm doing this or why anybody would be doing this. Especially online. You know, there's plenty of... Uh, How you doing? There's plenty of video blogs and Google Hangouts and videos on YouTube talking about Flat Earth and trying to wake people up in their own way. So, I don't know if there's a Google Hangout Live happening tonight or not on You've Been Exposed or Brother Sanchez might have something going on, but go in there and check it out. You know, hear what people have to say. You know, try to expand your current consciousness level, you know. Try to get out from what you're, what you're normally doing. Step away from the playoffs for a while. You know, that's why the establishment has sports and all these different distractions. So then you look at somebody like me and you think I'm, I'm the one who's crazy, right?
But then when you look into it... Yeah! He's a man. Guy is a man. And so... Really appreciate everybody stopping by, though. I'm going to get up to my car here in a minute. And, uh... Probably watch some of those Google Hangouts. Listen to what everybody has to say about the day, any news that's happened. But I really appreciate everybody sticking through. Like, share, and subscribe, please. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.